With our practice today, we're going to be focusing on attention and awareness. We'll start standing, hands at heart, slowly close the eyes, we'll roll the shoulders down and back, slight tuck of the tailbone, and big toes together, heels slightly splayed out. And inhale, lift the toes, spread the toes wide, and then plant them back on the ground, feeling super grounded here. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, Samastiti, hands to the side. Deepening our breath. And taking a mental scan from the top of the head all the way down to the toes. Place a little reminder on any parts of the body that you need to let go of any stress and sending your breath to those places throughout your practice. And taking a physical scan from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, just placing a little reminder or a light Maybe a little sticky note on the places in your body that feel like they might need more attention. Maybe your shoulders are tight, your hips are sore. And again, from the top of the head all the way down to the toes, this time doing a spiritual body scan placing little sticky notes or little balls of light where you need to send your breath, attention, and awareness through your practice today. And once you're done with all of those scans, getting really aware of what your body needs. Inhale, reach the arms high. Then exhale, hands to the third eye. Place a little sticky note there with a map of all the places where you need to send your attention, your love, your breath, maybe some patience today. And exhale, hands to heart. You can slowly peel the eyes open. Inhale, reach up and take the right hand around the left wrist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, open up to the side. Left side body stretch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, opposite side. And inhale, lengthen one more time. Exhale, forward fold. Take a deep bend in the knees. It's our first forward fold. Grab the elbows, shake from side to side. And inhale, look out. Make the back flat. Straighten the left leg. Take a deep bend in the right knee and then walk the fingertips over to the right. And just tucking the head into the shin or the knee. And then trying to get that left glute to send back toward the back of your mat again. And inhale back to center. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bend the left knee. Walk the fingertips over to the left side. Let the neck relax. And pull that right sit bone back to the back side of your mat. And inhale back to center. Walk the toes out to the outside of your mat. 
just a little bit of a wider stance here. Plant the left hand in the center. Inhale, reach up, twist with the right arm. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back to center. Walk the hands over to the right side. Forward fold over that right leg. Inhale to center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, back to center. Walk the hands out. Step the feet in, down to child's pose. Palms facing up. And rest the forehead on the mat, remembering those mental, physical, and spiritual scans you took at the beginning of class. And take another moment to send out anything that isn't yours, that is distracting you. Deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale, send it out. Inhale, lift to the hands. Let the hands down, come up to tabletop. We're going to do cat-cow here, but option two, get a little bit more expressive and do circles with the rib cage. So as you're doing a circle with your rib cage, your head should also be doing a circle. So inhale, so you're still coming up to cow and you're still tucking your chin when you're at cat, tucking the tailbone. And then opposite direction. Come back to tabletop, neutral spine here. Tuck the toes in the back and then come up to a downward facing dog, but with the knees very bent. So it's almost as if your rib cage is resting on your thighs here. Take a moment, open up through the shoulders, maybe a little swaying back and forth on the tippy toes. And then exhale, bring the knees back down, tabletop. Walk the fingertips out for puppy pose. I like to grab the edge of my mat here so that my arms can stay engaged and not slide. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using my mat as a prop. Inhale, walk the hands back up. We'll take the right arm straight out, left hand threads the needle underneath, left shoulder, and the head can rest on the ground. If you feel like you can handle a little bit more side body stretch, you can walk the fingertips over to the left a little bit more with that right hand. Exhale, slowly release. Other side, left arm straightens out, right arm walks underneath. If you did so on the other side, walk the fingertips over to the right with that left hand. And try and keep the hips as square as possible while you twist. Inhale, slowly unwind. Back to tabletop. We'll take the right leg, extend it out, and exhale, bend it in for a pigeon on the right. So just take it gentle here. We'll be doing it again later in class. 
So if you need to maybe take a pillow or a block underneath that right hip, make sure the hips are squared to the front. And then exhale when you're ready, slowly fold. Keep the left toes engaged or the right toes engaged. And that front leg. Inhale, look out, plant the hands down, tuck the toe in the back, and step that right foot up. So we're coming into a crescent lunge. Option to open the heart however you'd like. So maybe fingertips interlaced, pointer fingers pointing back, maybe cactus arms, or if you'd like, interlace fingertips back behind you, open up through the front of the chest. And exhale, open up, warrior two, left ankle comes down. Hips are squared to the side of your room. Shoulders and arms are strong. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, right elbow, right knee, left arm reaches up and over. An option to take the right fingertips toward the ground here or into a bind. Right forearm goes underneath, right thigh. Left hand goes back behind. Inhale, look up. Exhale, slowly unwind. Set the right foot back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows bend to a 90 degree into the ribs. Then inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take a moment here to really pedal out the heels. Maybe moving forward and back. And exhale, drop the knees down, tabletop. Inhale. Reach the left leg out. The right arm sweeps to the side. Maybe you can grab your foot into your hand. If not, you can always do it with a strap or a sock. Then inhale, kick up into that hand. Tiger pose. Right shoulder opens up to the ceiling. And exhale, release. Bend that left leg into the chest, pigeon on the left. Again, hips are squared, left toes are flexed here to protect the knee. If you need a block underneath that left hip, go ahead and do so. And when you're ready, release. Inhale, look forward, plant the hands down, tuck the toe in the back, and then lift up, plant that left foot down, crescent lunge on the opposite side. And taking whatever heart opener arm variation you did on the opposite side. And exhale, release. Open up, warrior two. Hips are open to the side of the room. Right ankle comes down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Side body stretch. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Right arm reaches up and over. Taking whatever variation you did on the opposite side, whether that be fingertips toward the ground, or maybe your left forearm goes underneath the left thigh, right arm reaches back behind for a bind twist open to the ceiling or the sky. Wherever you are, 
exhale, unwind, plant the hands down, tuck the toes in the back through your vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, inhale, come forward, exhale, drop the knees, tabletop, right leg reaches back, left hand comes to the side body, tiger pose on the opposite side. When you're ready, exhale and inhale, kick up into that hand. Left shoulder opens up to the ceiling or the sky. And exhale, release. Child's pose, palms facing up. Inhale, look forward, plant the hands down, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg as high as you can, keep the hips squared. Then open up that left hip, let the knee open to the right side of the room. Draw some circles with the leg, find some movement that feels good. Exhale, bring it through, knee to nose. Drop the foot down, come to low lunge. And wherever you are, find some balance. Then try to take a really wide low lunge stance. So trying to stretch through the groin, the front of the right thigh and the back of the left. Inhale, slowly take the hips back, half monkey on the left side, forward fold. Inhale, come up. We're gonna swing the right toes to become parallel with the front of our mat and reach the left leg out. So inhale, reach the arms high. And you can tuck the right toes if you want. See if you can bring your arms to a T and then take the weight into the right knee. Slowly lift the left leg. Breathe. And exhale, release. Side body stretch over to the left side of the room. Exhale, plant the hands back down, swing that right foot back around. We'll just inhale, lift up into pyramid pose. Shorten the stance. Toes are both facing the front of the room. Hips are squared. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips. And if your fingertips can touch the ground, try and walk them back toward the back leg. Release any tension in the neck and close the eyes, remembering those scans that you did at the beginning of class, becoming more intentional with your breath, with your energy, and even more aware of what your body needs. Inhale, look forward, take hands to heart, take a slight bend in that left leg, send the weight forward into warrior three, straighten the leg. And exhale, plant the right foot to meet with the left. Uttasana, sweep the arms down, chair pose, slight tuck of the tailbone.
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look out. Plant the hands down. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. Move through your vinyasa, adding in whatever feels good. Maybe you come down to cobra for a breath or two. And meeting in downward facing dog when you're ready. Inhale the right leg high, keep the hips squared. And exhale, open up the hip. Start to draw some circles or find a movement that feels really good for your body right now. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. And drop that down into low lunge on the right side. Taking whatever stance you did on the opposite side. Remember, super wide low lunge. So walking those back toes out as far as you can. And then exhale, sit the hips back half monkey, half splits, forward fold. And inhale, look forward. Sweep the left toes to the side, hips open to the left side of the mat. And inhale, arms out to a T, prepare. And slowly take the weight into the left leg reaching the right leg as high as you can with control and balance and exhale release side body stretch over to the right and exhale plant the hands down step the left toes back and we're just going to lift up into pyramid pose Hips are squared. If you need to shorten your stance, go ahead. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, look forward. Send the weight into that right leg. Warrior three. Exhale, send the left leg to meet with the right. Inhale, sweep the arms down, Utkatasana chair pose. And exhale, Ardha, halfway down. Keeping the core engaged. And forward fold. Inhale, look out, flat back. Plant the hands down, moving through your vinyasana. Step the feet back or hop. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, have it open to the side, moving toward wild thing. If that's in your practice, go ahead and jump into that if it's not your foot is going to be opening up to the right look to the left hand it will peel off the ground as your right foot rotates left foot meets the ground wild thing slowly come back and three-legged dog extend that left leg exhale fall and triangle knee to nose send it out to the right Right arm peels up off the mat. Exhale, three-legged dog one more time. Extend all the way up. And let the foot meet with the right downward facing dog. 
We'll drop the knees for Ustrasana, Camel Pose. Tuck the tailbone, prepare. Roll the shoulders down and back. And take the hands just below the last rung of ribs for some support. Inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, open the heart slowly. Coming back, release one arm at a time to the ankles. Stay engaged. And exhale, slowly release. Come to a comfortable seated position, whether that's crisscross or seated on ankles. Take the hands to the knees, exhale. Round the spine, inhale, open. Exhale, seated cat cows. And when you feel you've neutralized your spine, take the knees wide. Exhale, child's pose, palms up. And sending a few breaths to those spots in your body, your spiritual body, your emotional body. Inhale, look forward, plant the hands down, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left, whoops, just bend. <clears throat> On your next exhale, inhale, look forward, plant the hands down, tuck the toes, lift the hips to downward facing dog. And inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, open it up to the left side of the room, preparing for a wild thing. Go ahead and jump into that if you feel ready. If not, slowly look to your right hand. It will peel off the ground as your left foot rotates. Right will meet it on the ground. Wild thing. And inhale, slowly come back up. Extend the up three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Send it over to the left side of the room. Fall in triangle. And inhale, back up. Three-legged dog one more time. And exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, roll forward. Drop the knees and drop the elbows. We'll come into dolphin. So either taking palms and the hands together or palms facing down, you'll grab your elbows, which is your shoulder distance, and then extend the forearms out. Inhale, lift the hips up. And just slowly pedal out the heels. As we find some movement coming up onto the tippy toes. And play with your gaze. And exhale, drop the knees into tabletop. We'll inhale, reach the right arm forward. The left leg goes back. And we'll sweep it to the side. So right arm sweeps back, left leg sweeps forward. And come back. And exhale, sweep it to the side. Inhale, come back. Exhale one more time. And inhale. Plant the right hand down, left leg stays extended. Bend the knee and see if you can, almost like we do in cat-cow. We'll tuck the knee into the chest, knee to nose. Then inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the heart. Try and get the foot toward the head. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale for cow. Open the heart. Exhale, last one. Inhale, back up. And exhale, release. 
and then shake out the hips. And with that left leg again, extend it out. We'll see just how much momentum and movement we have with our left hip and our left leg. So see how big of a half circle you can make. Now sometimes we can just tap this side, tap the other side of our mat. But if you think about upward motion as well, just like we did, we can make a pretty big circle. So try and make it as large as possible, going as far as you can, even if that means bringing it forward to the front of your mat on the left side. The last one. Beautiful, exhale, release. Take our knees really wide, toes are still together. Maybe they even come off of our mat. Forearms come down into frog pose. Just letting our hips take a moment to really open. Toes stay flexed toward each other. Inhale, slowly come back out. And lift the knees up. And to tabletop. And take the left arm forward, right leg goes back. And exhale, sweep it back with the left arm, forward with the right leg. Inhale, back to straight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, last time. Inhale, back to center. Release the left arm, keep the right leg extended. And we'll bend the knee. And just like we do in cat-cow on the other side, exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale for cow, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale one more time, and inhale, open the heart. Exhale, shake the hips out. Finding new movement, new spots of our body to send our breath. Extend the right leg out. We're gonna make those really big circles again. So take it over to the right as far as you can, maybe to the top of your mat, all the way up, and then over to the left. And one more time. Beautiful. Tuck the toes, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Slowly tiptoe your way all the way to the front, or you can take a deep bend in the knees. Exhale. Inhale, hop your way to the front. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. And inhale, sweep it up all the way. Exhale, release the arms, release the legs. Shake it out a little bit. And we'll step the right leg to the back of the mat, open up to the right side. So wide-legged forward fold here. Take the hands back behind, interlaced. Roll the shoulders down and back. And exhale, forward fold, letting the arms fall overhead. And 
Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release the arms. If the toes feel good, pointed forward here for goddess or horse pose, keep them pointed forward or you can point them outward. We'll take a bend in the knees, slowly come down, goddess or horse pose. And exhale, slowly release the arms. Take the toes back to the front. Exhale, forward fold. Option to walk the fingertips back toward the other side of the room. Inhale, walk the hands forward. Toes come to the front of the mat. And then exhale, fold over this left leg. Reach the right leg high as you can. Standing splits. And exhale, let it meet with the right. Forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Take the fingertips back. And see if you can lift that left leg, standing splits on the opposite side. Tuck the head into the shin. Exhale, release. Let the hands down through your vinyasa step or hop back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. We'll inhale, back to plank. And then drop the knees, drop the belly all the way down onto the mat. Just resting here. And inhale, prepare for Shalabhasana. So toes will be engaged, then arms will engage up and back. If you'd like to, you can interlace fingertips back behind. Exhale, prepare. Deep inhale. Lift the legs, lift the chest, straighten the arms. And don't hold your breath here, keep breathing. One more breath, a little higher. Exhale, release. option to do three rounds of any of your favorite heart openers. I'll do one of each. So if you decide to do two bows and one camel or one bow and one wheel or three wheels, it's up to you. It's your practice. Keeping in mind those places in your physical, spiritual, and mental body that you need to spend more focus on, try and be as expressive and loving with yourself with these poses as possible. So I'll start with bow. We'll exhale, prepare. And then inhale, kick up with the feet, kick up into the hands, open the shoulders, squeeze the legs together. Breathe. Maybe close the eyes. And then exhale, release. Feel free to try that one again if you really loved it. I'll be demoing camel pose. So tuck the tailbone and really open the shoulders, roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly open up the heart and maybe you stay here maybe you play with releasing a little bit further and 
And going as far as you feel comfortable there. And for a wheel, you'll start on your back. Feet are in line with your hips, fingertips facing toward the shoulders. Exhale, prepare. Deep inhale, lift up. Strong in the arms. Whatever your wheel practice looks like, or whatever pose you're in right now, try and find some variation, some inspired movements that feel good to you. Keep breathing. And when you're done with all three rounds of whatever pose you did, we'll come onto our backs and move toward plow pose. So give your spine a second to neutralize. Send the knees to opposite sides. And then tuck the tailbone, place the hands down by the hips. Inhale, reach the legs high. Maybe find some momentum with the legs. Inhale up, plow pose. Hands go to the low spine for support. And if you're finding your neck feels weird here, try and look up, lengthen, bring your chin toward the back of your mat rather than chin toward your chest because that way you'll have more length in the back of your neck. And exhale, plant the hands back down on the ground. See if you can slowly lower one vertebrae at a time all the way back down. Inhale, the left leg, figure four over the right. And then take the fingertips around the back of the right thigh. Left elbow pushes into the left thigh. And start to fold it in toward the chest option to straighten the right leg, if that's accessible to you. And then inhale, release, exhale, switch sides, right leg folds over the left. Hands go to the back of the left thigh. Inhale the knees to the chest, curl yourself into a little ball, and then rock forward into crisscross, comfortable seated. And we'll sweep the right leg all the way around, pigeon on the left side. Option to do a little heart opener here. You can reach back for that back leg if you'd like, or just have fingertips pointed on the ground. Reach the head back, but eventually make your way to a really comfy pigeon, spending a minute or two here. And turning inward. Breath becomes more even, more calm.
inhale, look forward, plant the hands down, sweep the right leg all the way to the front. Take the knee into the chest, ankle goes to the left side of the left knee. And twist gently to both sides, just a really gentle twist. Exhale, release the legs, right knee folds in, pigeon on the right, left leg sweeps back behind. Hips are squared. Again, option for a little back bend here, reaching for the foot or letting the head come back. And eventually making your way to a really comfy pigeon, completely supported. Plant the hands down, sweep the left leg all the way around. Left ankle comes onto the outside of the right knee. And gentle twist to either side. Exhale, release both legs. And come all the way down into a comfortable flat position. Maybe take your knees wide for a moment. And tuck the shoulder blades underneath, palms come open, open for receiving. And eventually releasing all the way into Shavasana. And giving your body Anything else that it needs, maybe some wrist rolls, maybe some happy baby. Just listening to your body and receiving what it's sending out. Giving yourself permission to let go. And we'll take one last scan from the top of the head all the way to the toes. And this time, keeping in mind your physical, mental, and spiritual, and also your emotional bodies, all connected, all intertwined, and all completely supported. And as you drift off into your Shavasana, use your breath to stay in this state, starting from the top of your head. With each inhale, filling the crown of your head with your favorite color. Each inhale, swirling more light down your neck, into your chest eventually making its way all the way down to your tippy toes.
and slowly start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingertips, roll the ankles and the wrists, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Taking your time. Eventually curling yourself up into a little ball. Feeling lighter and brighter. And exhale, roll onto your favorite side. Take your time, make your way to a seated position. And inhale, reach the arms high. And exhale, hands to heart. Let the fingers interlace, palms open, up onto the chest, letting your heart feel the warmth of your hands. Hmm. And saying to yourself, I am open to receiving. I am listening. I am ready. And take hands back to heart. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to pay attention to yourself. And I'm so happy to practice with you. I'll see you next time. Namaste.